Riali and Romanen, Grubnic and Rizzo, Campbell and Vumard. They are about to run for $40,000. More importantly, they are about to run for glory. Who will it be in 2017? The Stall Athletic Club. Stall Gift is next. Are you ready for a new It is one of the iconic events in Australian sport. The store gift, and it's not too far away. The 2017 edition is the 136th running of this famous race. Round about 12 seconds in 2017. It might even be a little less than 12 seconds that it takes to get it done. Six men have made their way through. Uh, let's have a look at the lineup and see who is in contention for a place in history. A 26-year-old electrician, Nathan Riali, goes from red 4.75 metres. He's got Michael Romanen for company, the 20-year-old Victorian state champion at 200. Kyle Grubnich, 23 years of age from New South Wales in blue, 7 metres. The favourite, the unbackable favourite, Matthew Rizzo from yellow in 7.5 metres. His mark, fifth in the final last year. Andrew Campbell at 24 years of age comes from 10 metres. Michael Vumard from 10 metres as well at 23 years of age. So what are these men feeling as they're about to make their way up for the start? Our own Jason Richardson knows exactly what they're feeling because Richo, a couple of decades and then some ago, you were feeling exactly the same thing. Pete and I was standing in this lane in the yellow and with that same view that Matthew Rizzo has at the moment he's at the seven and a half mark right here he's got to give two and a half meters to the two out markers he needs to get onto them quickly and then the two class amateurs of 4.75 all the way back here are going to try to make up ground late you watch for Matthew Rizzo he'll impose himself in this field early can he hold him off late I think he'll go sub 12 here well, that is going to be something to see if he can, because he switched off the engines and ran 12.06 in the semi-final. But we've often spoken about it, Mel. All of these official duties, they can get to people, and they've got to people over the years. The great Neil King, who was associated with the store gift for so many years, said that he lost a store gift in these moments where his mind got the better of him. Matthew Rizzo, at 18 years of age, looks very composed, but he's going to need to be because there's a lot of pressure on him. Look, there is, but one of the things I was very impressed about Matthew Rizzo was in the interview with Richo where he said he came out yesterday Today and he, he's trying to enjoy the, the situation, which is so important. There's nothing more when an athlete gets to a big moment like this. They need to relax. They need to, to take it all in. And, you know, the thing is, Matthew Rizzo knows he's running fast. So all he needs to do is put it together. But it is, becomes a mental thing as well, and you need to be as strong there as you are on the track. Kyle Grubnich going up. There's the favourite, Matthew Rizzo, well, 12 months ago. He was in the same spot. He finished fifth in the final last year. Nathan Riali has gone up to the start. Andrew Campbell and Michael Vumard are just making their way up to the start now. The problem that Nathan Riali has got, Mel, is that his mark, 4.75 metres. So he is the best part of three metres behind Rizzo. If Rizzo gets the same sort of start that he got in the semis, he's never going to sight him. Well, no, but what Riali has to do is just not even think about that. You yeah. know, what he needs to do is just focus on his start. He has to focus in his lane. And one thing is here at Stall Gift, it's roped off, so it makes it a little bit easier that you can focus on that. And, you know, most of the thing is with the athletes is you can't control what anyone else can do. You can only control what you can do. And that's what, you know, Riali and the rest of this field needs to do. I know that Kyle Grubnich will have plenty of supporters. The man in blue here, 23 years of age. I know a couple of people who are looking out for him. Two of Australia's great athletes, Ryan Gregson and Jen Lacars, are watching on the 7 app in Mount Laguna in California. Hello to both of you. Hope you're enjoying one of our great athletic days. I'm sure they are. And that's a very special support crew, isn't it? And a very yeah. talented pair as well. The shaking of the hands. Told him watch his locks. Do not get on till I give you the command. And when I call you to the set position, I'm going to hold till everyone is firmly set. Now I'm going to be severe on any movement in that set position. So if you're unsteady, put up your hand, okay? So the nervous moments for the likes of Andrew Campbell, 24 years of age, he was backpacking around Europe last year. 
in yellow in the centre of your picture, Matthew Rizzo, is the centre of attention. He's been the favourite for a long time. Can he justify that ranking in the 2017 store gift? Riali, his main danger, comes from red. Central Park falls silent. Zed! Rizzo got a flyer again. Takes him a little while to balance up. Riali got a good start. Rizzo, it's his to win at halfway. He's coming away from Riali, who's running on well. But the favourite sails in in the stall gift. Matthew Rizzo wins. Riali ran on well. 12-12 is the time. He didn't rank 12, but it doesn't matter. From fifth last year to the champion in 2017, 18-year-old Matthew Rizzo gets it done. Oh, what a wonderful run by Matthew Rizzo. There was so much pressure coming into this event. Not he really noticed it beforehand, but just to be able to execute that race and deliver it was sensational. Another great start. He took probably two or three strides just to find his rhythm and his balance, but once he did, there was no catching him. No, and that's what it's about. It's about the start. He knew he was in shape. It was interesting because he said in the quote in the paper before he came uh, to the store gift, he says, I'm coming in with a bigger engine. He came fifth last year at the store gift. He was inexperienced then, experienced now, but just, you know, even since Saturday, since that sensational run in the heat, to be able to still come into this final, you know, being so young and having that pressure and delivering it, that makes him a very special boy and a very happy man. Richo, this young man, last year was asked about his biggest moment at stall. He said it's still in the making. He was right. He is 100% right, and now he's a stall gift winner. It sounds beautiful, doesn't it? Oh, it does, mate. It's sensational. A sense of relief, if anything? Oh, definitely. Well, the hard work's paid off, so... Oh. And Lots of words. And take us through that journey. Can you believe it? In 2013, you won the Little Ass 400 metres here at Stall. Yeah. yeah, I won't be running for again. <laughs> but Stall is obviously a place that's close to your heart. You've been here so often? Oh, definitely. I walked away last year from that final a little bit disappointed. I don't want to take it out this year, and I just did, I just did it, so... I'm stoked, absolutely stoked. You appear to have a real air of confidence about that. You were very confident you could do that. Oh, because of my great team. Absolutely awesome Viking Athletics. They've uh, shown me support the whole way through. Can't thank them enough. And tell us about Viking Athletics because you've been doing it by correspondence? Yeah, so trained by Brett Robinson and Matt Carter. Matt Carter trains me down here in Victoria. Brett trains the boys up there, so they're on the phones with each other. So, yeah. And everything went, the whole preparation went perfectly? Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. And nerves beforehand? No, I've been here before. So I knew what I had to do. Got to cross that line first. Well, a man who's been here before, in fact, he was the first man ever to win the race on two occasions. The great Bill Howard is about to come forward and present you with a cheque for $40,000. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Michael, what a difference to your life today. <laughs> Definitely. Not just, this Definitely. 40, not just this 40 grand, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> Everything about it. Thank you. you. Appreciate it. That is on behalf of the Stall Athletic Club. I tell you what, you might ref you might reflect in the future what a thrill it is to, to meet Bill, oh, yeah. and uh, we were, everyone would love to be half as good as he was. Oh, he's an absolute legend, absolute legend. Okay. Tell us about your setup. Who in particular would like to thank? Oh, look, obviously I'm going to start off with uh, Brett Robinson, my coach, also Matt Carter. Coming back down, he's done an absolute phenomenal work with me and the rest of the Viking Athletics Peninsula blokes. Bros Kelly, happy birthday. Um, Jasper Nettlefold, absolutely a killer when we're doing trials and all my friends, family, just supporting me. that have come down and also I'd like to thank uh, Bruce Gulliver as well. First full really coach, so show me support ever since. And when you look back in 20 or 30 years back at this vision, do you think you may regret the moustache? Oh mate, no, no way. <laughs> You're owning that? Yeah, definitely. Well, I think you know, we've got a very worthy winner of the stall gift. You enjoy it. Thanks so much, mate. Appreciate it. He is a worthy winner. No question about that. At just 18 years of age, and who's to say he can't come back next year and try and do what Bill Howard did? It's proven impossible for 
just about everybody else. Well, it has proven impossible for everybody else except Bill Howard to win back to back. But if he gets a good mark next year, he's only going to get better at 18 years of age. Well, we've just seen, you know, how much he's improved in 12 months and, you know, just the start that he got there. And, you know, this is the moment where things can fall apart. If you technically stress out, then you tighten up. But no, not for him. And the smile on his face, you know, there are moments that he's probably imagined himself winning this. But at the same time, you can't get carried away with it either because you actually got to deliver it. And that's exactly what he did. Nathan Riali can be really proud of the way he ran. It was always going to be a difficult task to spot that man up to almost three metres. Oh, yeah, and so it's all all the now it's yeah. time for joy and time for reaction. And here's the result. The margin of victory was 0.18 of a second. And you don't see that too often in a stall gift final. Rizzo comfortably. Riali running really well for second. Kyle Grubnich in third placing at 12.32. Three hundredths of a second in front of Michael Vumard. Michael Romanen in fifth and Andrew Campbell rounding them out. 0.37 of a second away from our winner. We've already heard from the winner. He's happy and I reckon mum and coach Richo are pretty happy as well. Mum is really happy, Deb. Congratulations. Uh, your young boy has just created history here. I know. He deserves everything. Yeah. Did he always show talent as an athlete? Yeah. Yeah. He's always wanted it. And um, he's done the hard yards to get here. And yeah, he deserves every bit of it. And the talent comes from you? Of course. <laughs> What's he been like to be around leading up to this event though? Because I'm sure he's, he was a little nervy. Um, no, he's handled it really well. Um, he's m more mature than his years. Um, yeah, he thrives on the pressure, I think. Um, yeah, he's good. Well, he might have got that from Mum as well, yeah. Matt. Uh, doing coaching with Robbo as well. We know Robbo's credentials. Just must give you a huge thrill. Oh, mate, it's massive. Yeah, it's huge. I was so excited for him. He, uh, he's put in the hard yards. He's done everything right. And, um, yeah, we couldn't have asked for a better result. So. And, he, and he's such a young boy. The sky's the limit. He is. He is. He came to me when he was about 15 and... We met at Bunnings and he said, hey, are you Matt Carter? I said, yeah. He goes, can I come train with you? I said, sure, why not? And has he been hanging out at Bunnings ever since? Yeah, he still put some trolleys at Bunnings. <laughs> I reckon you might be able to give that up, do you reckon, Matty? Oh, maybe now, yeah. <laughs> Robbo, you've dealt with a lot of elite athletes. How good could this young man be? Yeah, he's pretty phenomenal. Like, uh, very happy with all his, his preparation. It's probably more his application through the whole process. I, I touch base with Matty most week and Brozzy and, and they keep telling me how professional it is and how dedicated he is to it and I think that's the, the probably the cornerstone for um, an elite athlete so he's a long, a long way at, at the age, a young age. And certainly helps when you've got great genetics as well mum. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> well you enjoy what was an amazing performance, well done. Thank you. Thank you. And well done to you Richo as well. A hug from mum and a dream realised for the 18 year old and yes he is only going to get better and the preparation couldn't have been much better as they said they put him away after Rye in January and concentrated all of their efforts onto this day and this race and this moment and now what is always a famous part of the victory celebration to be paraded on the shoulders in front of this magnificent old grandstand and this highly knowledgeable crowd. They love their athletics, the people who come to store. And they'll know what they've seen as a very talented young athlete that they're going to be hearing a lot of in years to come. Yeah, it was interesting, you know, hearing from his uh, coach Matt Carter as, as well as Brett Robertson just saying about his dedication. And that's exactly it. If you want to be successful, you've got to put in the hard yards. And, you know, just to think of man so young now being on that incredible list of store winners, being on a paver up the main street is just something that he'll have forever and is very, very special. A very, very special day in the life of an 18-year-old and you've got to love his confidence too. Seemed as though he was thriving on the pressure rather than being affected by it. Maybe his tummy might have told a different tale. Maybe there might have been eagles in there rather than butterflies, but he certainly wasn't showing it. Well that's the indicator of a great athlete. That, that's an indicator of, of who has a big future of being able to be able to handle that, you know, mentally. It doesn't matter what you're doing physically and he showed maturity today. As his mother said, he is mature and that showed today on the track. Yeah. Let's recap some of the great moments of the day and they'll talk about the gifts, both the men and the women, but they'll also talk about the women's 400 metres and Anna Pasquale, who could very well have been in the women's gift,
by one hundredth of a second she missed out of the hands of Lauren Wells. Here she is in pink. She settled herself down nicely and despite that run earlier in the day, she makes her move down the back straight. It was a 20th anniversary of coming to stall and she was looking for that victory and just at this moment it looked like it was coming. Oh, she was just fearless with this. You know, it's just so beautiful to watch. It actually brought tears to my eyes, you know, seeing her, her win there. And I mean, the fact that, you know, as you said, 20 years, she's had a dream, as she said to her, her husband that I want to win a sash that's what I want and today to be able to achieve that you know being a mum being a track looking looking incredibly fit it's one of the wonderful stories of Store Gift and that's what Store Gift's about it's about these athletes it's about this family history and it's exactly that the joy of finally reaching a dream a family and a country town very proud Wangaratta is celebrating well done Anna a moment you'll never forget. And then a moment, a 16-year-old, from a veteran to a youngster, Liv Ryan in pink in the women's gift. This was spectacular. Yes, it was. And, you know, had knowing that she had pressure coming from behind, I don't know what it is, Peter, about these young teenagers, but they are fearless. They're very composed. Once again, we've got a teenager. It's a celebration. She said she'd be using the money for a new wardrobe. Well, I can tell you what, that'd be one incredible wardrobe but the celebrations and you know too a lot of the families the coaches around that are supporting them it's a wonderful reward for all their hard work and then it was time for matthew rizzo to come out and face the pressure in the men's gift final pressure what pressure well he didn't look like he was running with any pressure um, it's just such a beautiful run and you know we've talked about it for days you know the whole thing is about delivering it at the right time and that's exactly what he did so what a day it has been here at Central Park.